like that. A year and a half ago, I tested out the Stinger Tactical Whip against my inhuman body, and it earned the highly coveted Houston Jones Seal of Approval as an effective self-defense tool. But apparently, for the folks at Stinger, that glowing recommendation wasn't enough for them, and they went and made a new and approved product called the Stinger Tactical Whip XL, which is girthier, and I think that's about it. But the Stinger Tactical Whip isn't the only thing that got girth here because for the past year and a half I've been training my body and mind in various ways which you guessed it has increased the girth of my pain tolerance and internal organs by a thousand percent. But not my penis. <laughs> so I'm on a mission to find out if the new Stinger Tactical Whip XL is effective against the new and improved Houston Girth Master Jones. Also, this video isn't sponsored, but I still got the affiliate link with Stinger, which gives you 10% off your own Stinger products and directly helps support my channel. So, I don't know, maybe buy like a billion of them? Please? All right, it's time to start the non-human trials. Well, that's why we have this smorgasbord of vegetables and fruits, and we're gonna smash it because it represents what would happen when the Stinger Whip XL hits the average human. You're weak, you're watery, and you're gonna take damage, but I won't. So it's only fair that we show you what it can do to the average person because we know it's gonna do nothing to me, obviously. <laughs> right, Mark? You're packing something down there. And believe it or not, it's pretty cold out here, so that's pretty impressive, huh? Give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> well, it's over 10 inches, I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna take the first swing at the butternut squash, the hardest of the items we have here. But I'm sure it'll present no challenge to me. Don't eat it. Don't do it. No. Every time. Uh, well, that was insightful. How about you smash these two, Mark, at the same time? Uh, embarrassing. Did I miss? Put your back into it. <laughs> oh, my lord. Steve. It's like I'm hitting the table. Just give it to me. Just no, give it, no, just, 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 just give it to me. I'm denting the table. I hit myself right in that bone. <laughs> My penis is falling out. Oh, you're packed? Ah. Oh. Yeah, it was just a... I see we're both a stuffing, huh? We're showers. We're definitely showers. Yeah, because it definitely didn't grow from us anyways. Okay, good job. They were significantly softer than the other targets. They were, they were. Harder, Mark! Pathetic. Give it to me. I'm just too weak. So the non-human trials really went awry, and uh, it turns out that uh, we splintered the end of the whip. So when we hit you, the whole thing should splinter completely. Oh yeah, way more. See, it's still cracked right there. Mm -hmm. I expect all the plastic to be broken off it. These are all be individual individual strands of wire. And honestly, if the whip is still in one piece after it's done hitting me, I'll be surprised. I'm pretty winded, I'll be honest. Well, that was enlightening, but now it's time to move on to the human trials. That is, if you can consider me a human, because I am much more if I'm being perfectly honest. But before we do that, let me just show you the difference in girth between these two Stinger Whips. This is the original, this is the Stinger Whip XL. Look how much girth here it is. This one is a little bit more flimsy because it's so ungirthy, but look how unflimsy this one is. Man, that girth just really provides extra strength. I'll tell you what. You know a lot about girth? I like to think I'm a pretty girthy guy. And I'll tell you what, the ladies actually appreciate the girth a lot. I thought it was just one lady. I have two body pillows now, Mark. Here's the plan. We're gonna start low on my body and work our way up. So we get a wide range of different targets 
for the most scientific conclusion, which should be that even though the whip is girthier, girth has no effect on Houston Jones. We'll find out. Oh my, oh my. The girth, you can feel the girth. Well, you usually feel the girth. Oh. That's pretty hefty. Yeah, that's You hard. hardly <laughs> even hit yourself! To be honest, I wasn't impressed. So Mark will go even harder this time, and also, I won't even react. And then when I don't react, you all gotta like the video, because it's a deal that me and Mark are shaking on, but you represent Mark in this situation. I just shook hands with you, okay? I'm your biggest fan. Shut up. I'd like to imagine at this point that everyone already liked the video, right? Probably also turned on post notifications. Of course, you, you're already subscribed because why wouldn't you be? <sighs> Punch the wall? Oh, I'm sorry, Mark. I'm sorry that your aim is so bad that you accidentally punched the wall. I almost got that. Ooh, that would have been bad. It would have, for you. So it turns out the whip wrapped around both times and uh, appears that the whip bled on the front of my shin. Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> didn't expect it to start bleeding all over me. Kind of rude, really. They didn't even put that in the advertisement that it has like veins and blood. Bleeding potential. Yeah. Gotta sue him again. False advertising. No, I'm not gonna sue him because I have a commission link. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> okay. It's meaty. So yeah, the next target is my quad. I don't know why I'm stretching my hamstring out for this, but uh, I feel like it's gonna help. I don't know, what do you think? How many inches is that? Give or take 65. Wow. That means it could be zero, doesn't it? I said give or take before that. Ah! <sighs> yeah, so it's don't feel anything anymore. So much stronger than a year and a half ago when we did the smaller whip. It's incredible. The training has paid off. It is, it has. Oh God. It doesn't even feel like a whip. It feels like a solid rod hitting me, which I have very little experience with, let me tell you, because I'm a ladies man. How do you like this pose? Uh, not the best. I think you could do better. Come on. More ass. Yeah. Show that thigh. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? I mean, yeah. get the. Uh, I, I want to touch it. I don't know. What, I don't know what you've done. Mm, yeah. I want. I want to touch it because, uh, from what I can tell, uh, might have eight. I don't want to gain your powers. There's only one way to find out what it is. Honestly, I have no clue. So uh, that begs the question, have you ever used that flexibility for other any things? other reason? You know, you're pretty flexible there. Because I, I can't do that as often. Well. I can, I can like get to here and that's it. Seems like you, you practice a lot. You're being pretty quiet. I'm just saying it's not gay if you give yourself a blow job. Oh yeah, this is breaking. <laughs> of course my body weakened the whip. I'd expect nothing less. That's what happens when you're, you know, pure animantium. All right, the next target, arguably the strongest part of my body, my back. Check this out. See that live spread? And people say I'm not a bodybuilder. Would you believe that? How do you get through doors? I don't. I, you know what I do? I, I walk up to the door and then I go, <laughs> and then I can keep going, okay? It's a real process. Oh, I don't, I don't like that. I didn't like that. I liked it. I don't like you. Oh, well, I like you. Thank you. It equals out. You Come. like him, Garrett? I 
All right, Mark, I know this has been hard for you. It has okay. been. Okay. I never I, like hurting a friend. Well, you're not hurting me, okay? That's but good. you are hurting my whip. Look at it. Look at the deplorable state it's in. It has duct tape on it now. You should ask for a refund. I won't. No? Because this only makes sense that it happened when it hits the hardest object in the world, AKA me. So you can't, you know, fault the company for that. But this is what I want you to do. I want to put all of your heart into this last swing, okay? Okay. Believe in yourself, all right? Because I know what? I believe in you. I'll do it for the kids. Don't do it for the kids. Not the kids? You know I hate the kids. Oh. Uh, I'll do it for, for you. That's better. Oh, that was so. Uh, nope, no, that's fine. That's, that's fucking fine, Mark. Fuck. Why do you say no? No. I just, it didn't feel like 100%. You don't feel like 100%. Uh, especially on Mondays. I just go again. I'm sorry. I just, I didn't, wasn't feeling it. Hey, come here, come here. It's all right, it's all right. It's okay, bud. It's okay. It's all right. Get away. <laughs> we were having a moment. Yeah. You, you fucking ruined it. You didn't cheat. Come on. No, not the whip, you fucking idiots. So it's time to go on to the damage report, and as you can see, the whip took a real beating. Uh, it frayed the end, the plastic started breaking off it, we had to duct tape it at one point. Honestly, I don't know if we had to do that, but we did it. And as you can see, the whip's not looking that good. Are you looking that good? Am I looking that good? I mean, you got some marks on you. Ah, no, I mean, I'd say I'd look pretty fine. Honestly, I don't think we even need to go over it, but if... You want to know, I guess we can show the people. As you can see, my calf got hit. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but there's some stuff there. The whip started bleeding on me here. The whip then started bleeding on my quad once again. I can't believe how much blood they pack into this thing. It's crazy. And then I got hit in the back. And as you can see, you probably can't see anything. Yeah, I don't see anything. Because I can tell you one thing, I can't see it. And I got eyes behind my head, baby, okay? But here's the deal. We're gonna check back in a couple days, all right? Just to show you once again. That the whip is okay. No, the whip isn't gonna recover, okay? But me, on the other hand, I'll be perfectly fine. So, just stay tuned, huh? We're rolling? Okay, yeah, so it's been three days since I got hit with the Stinger Tactical Whip XL, and I'm sure you're dying to know, Houston, how's your body look? And I'm happy to announce that it looks fantastic. We'll start with my calf. As you can see, there's only some slight discoloration there. Not that bad. So a little bit of marks on the front of my calf where I got stabbed by this thing. But listen, it only gets better from there. Literally, look how good my quad looks. You can hardly even tell it got hit, you know? I mean, I've seen worse, that's all I'm saying. And then, last but not least, my back. Check this out. I'm sure you can't even see anything back there. Yeah, I don't see anything. Uh, it feels great too, you know. There's some slight back aches happening back there, but I think that's just because I got really big pecs, so it kind of throws my back out of whack every once in a while, but ultimately not, not that big of a deal. But if we forget about the fact that it's hitting, you know, the world's strongest man, I'd say this is a Really effective self-defense weapon, especially against the average man, because if it can do this much damage on me, just imagine how much damage you can do on, you know, literally anyone else. So it ultimately still gets the Houston Jones seal of approval. And you know what? If you want to pick one up for yourself, there will be a link down in the description and you can get a little percent off, which is cool, you know? And I get a little money too, you know? We're all having a good time here. We're friends, right? Buy one for me. Do it.